What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about interfaces in Java. And interfaces themselves are not complicated at all, but what makes them complicated is that the word interface does not really match what interfaces do. It's one of those weird scenarios where the word literally just does not describe what interfaces do. And that really throws off a lot of beginners, but the most time-tested analogy and the analogy that you will see in 99% of cases is going to be the word contract. Interfaces are always described as contracts and I actually used to be a real estate agent. So I know a lot about contracts and contracts work like this. So we sign a contract, we write down key point, we write down, we put in paper what we want in a real estate or car deal, whatever type of deal that you're doing. And me and you both have to abide by the contract's rules or else we can sue each other in America. In America, people sue each other a lot because it's a part of our culture and we are a litigious society. But in programming, you don't get sued. At least I don't think you do. But what happens is that you get the red squiggly line of death. It, basically, if you don't abide by the contract rules, the compiler is not going to run and it's not going to let you run the program. But you may be thinking to yourself, like, why would you even want that? That doesn't really even make sense. And why don't you just put the code in there? Well, that's that's actually a very, very important question. But let's like actually talk about what interfaces look like and a couple keywords that we kind of need to know before we get into that. So this is what an interface looks like. It's, it looks almost like a class, but it has these funny looking things called abstract methods. And essentially what an abstract method is, is it's just a method with no code in it. It is like very strange looking. And I remember being, you know, first learning about interfaces, it is like the weirdest looking thing. So if you want to implement, or if you want to actually make this contract, what you do is you go to the class that you want and you type in implements, keyword implements, gonna get out my little highlighter here, make sure it's not extends, it's implements, you extend with the class and then you implement this ping interface into the Java class. And I'll call this ping, I'm just gonna call this ping, and then I'm going to call this one over here, I'm gonna call this the ping impl, which is short for the ping implementation. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get a red squiggly line, and you press control dot in IntelliJ, and then all of these methods are going to be implemented into the ping implementation. And if that didn't really make that much sense to you, what we're going to do is we're going to code the world's worst data structure, data structure using an actual or an actual interface that is supplied to us through Java to make our own data structures. That's kind of the whole entire idea of what an interface is. It's meant to be so that you can plug and play your code. So let's just say, like I said, we're creating the world's worst data structure. Java already has interfaces for us so that you can plug in your interface and you can quickly create your own data structure with methods that Java already provides for you. So if, it's, if that still doesn't make sense, totally understand, let's look at an example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to type in world's worst or world's worst data structure it's literally we're trying to make the worst data structure like it doesn't work at all and we want to model it off of a real data structure that java provides for us we can actually create our own data structure with the tools that java provides and we're going to do that by bringing in a good old list if you don't know what a list is that's okay too but look we we just got our red squiggly line of death and what we need to do, you can do two things. You can press control dot, or you can press this imp and implement method. You can click the um, red light bulb, whatever that thing is, I don't know what it is. But what you're gonna see is this thing is going to come up and it's going to give you a choice of all the methods that it has available for you. So these are all like 
This is like a little toolbox that you can just quickly, like I said, plug into our own code and we get all of this in here. So watch what happens. We're going to get the, all of the things that are required in the contract to set up our world's worst data structure. So essentially it works like this. Java, me and Java are going to enter into a contract and what Java is going to say is, Teddy, you can use this list, but if you don't implement the list, like I say to say so, Mr. I, you're going to get a red squiggly line. And that's basically the whole entire idea of it. And you may be thinking, well, like, why don't you actually just, why don't you just code it to yourself? Like that doesn't, still doesn't make sense. Well, what happens is that you're going to go into here. You're going to new it up. So you go in here and what we can do is we can just have our list listed as our type. And you guys are now learning about what polymorphism is. So we don't have to go into here and type in world's worst data structure, world's worst data structure. We can just type in the actual list just like this. And we can go just type in world's worst data structure, world's worst data structure. Then we can type in um, worlds. Then we have to type in the actual type just like that. And then let me see. Big call. Oh, I need to add the new. So world's worst data structure. And then we can go down here and all of these terrible methods that we created, none of these methods actually work. Like look, Look at this size, like the size is gonna re return zero, is empty, is always going to return false. So let's just go in here and say, um, let's go, and re we're going to make it so that the, the size always returns 420. No, no specific reason for returning the exact number 420, just a random number. And what's going to happen is that, let's just see here. So we got size, then we're going to salt. So we're going to wrap this in a S so S O U T. We're going to system out print line. Then we will go in here, drop that in there, and let's see what this thing prints out. And got a typo there. Oh, sorry about that. So we're going to go ahead and run it. And would you look at that? We have just created our own data structure and we have implemented our own terrible data structure and we've learned interfaces in the process and we've learned how contracts work. And that is very powerful. It will add a ton of flexibility to your code. And I hope that the uh, concept of interfaces has been solidified for you anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.